What's up, YouTube? It's the Country CEO back again, man. Look, I'm outside this time because I want to show you guys the tools that are necessary for you to keep in your dump truck or at your house that make it necessary to be able to function well, save yourself a whole bunch of headaches, and not be caught out there on a job, on the road, and don't have a little something to work with for little minor things that can happen that could potentially put you down, you know, for a day or briefly, whatever the case may be. Sometimes it's just a little small fix, but you need certain tools to be able to help you to take care of that little fix or the driver to take care of that little fix, right? All right, so I'm going to walk you through what I consider to be some essential tools that I just went and bought for the truck that I just got to keep in that truck, right? You don't want to miss this. Stay tuned. All right, YouTube, here it is, right? Got some tools here that I just went and purchased this morning, and I just want to be able to show you um, what's needed to keep in a toolbox in your dump truck, or if you got a toolbox box on the dump truck, be good for you to keep in the dump truck, right? All right, so look, first thing I want to show you, some vice grips. I bought three, three uh, pair of these. They call them locking pliers, but we know them, you know, vice grips, right? All right, let me tell you why vice grips are so very important. Uh, we'll give you one serious situation that could put you down, have you on the side of the road, but some vice grips could uh, get you out of a bad situation. If um, uh, a brake line was to come loose or get pulled loose and the line is no good, right? What you can do is, and if any dump trucker worth his salt ought to know this, is that you can take some vice grips and what we call crimp that line, right? You crimp that line uh, with some vice grips real tight, right? All right, and what that'll do is, is that um, that'll stop the airflow from coming through the line, right? So you crimp the line, back off of the brakes on that particular axle or wheel that the brakes are locked up on, right? Because if you ain't got no air, then that means the brakes are locked up on that particular side, right? All right, so you crimp the line with some vice grips, which stops the air from coming through, which stops you from losing air, which will allow you to build up air pressure, right? And then you back off the brakes on that one wheel. Let me tell y'all something. I've made days. I've made several days by just making that little fix. You know, just had a pair of vice grips in the truck. All right, so that's what vice grips, how they can help you. All right, so I'm going to walk through some more of these. Uh, here goes some open face wrenches right here probably the most important one in this group is that dog on 916 right why jones because uh that 916 you uh, you can take is it's the size of your slack adjusters right your brakes done got out of adjustment let me give you another scenario dot done stops you and he tell you you got two brakes out of adjustment but if you adjust at least one or, or get them adjusted then you could go ahead on right well you need a 916 to be able to adjust on those slack adjusters right any truck driver Worth his salt and being a truck driver knows that 916 is a lifesaver up here to tell you. All right. And so that's how important it is to have a 916. But you notice, you see, I got all of the open faces because they fit various sizes. Okay. All right. I also got a 52 piece socket set right here from AutoZone, man. I think $19, $20, whatever. It's just good to have a socket set for little screws and stuff that uh, needs to be un. Un, uh, unloosened or tightened up, whatever, antennas, all kind of different stuff. You, you, I could think of so many uses for a socket set in a dump truck, right? All right, then you notice I got my crescent wrench, right? Doggone crescent wrench comes in handy as well uh, for being able to turn certain screws and it adjusts to different sizes of the screws, right? Bungee cords. I explained to y'all a little while back, uh, the truck I got has flaps on it, so we're going to have to be able to pull those flaps down over that hot asphalt, that's what the state wants now. And then just in general, you never know when you're gonna need a good flap to be able to tie something down, keep it from uh, something from flying away, all right? So let's come on over here, all right? I told you earlier also in another video, air hose, it's an accessory, but it's also a tool that you need, right? So I got my air hose uh, uh, to be able to supply air to my truck. You see, I got the the dog on end on it. I chose the long one to be able to handle that business there. All right. Also, let me slide back over here. 
You see, I got my shovel. That's an accessory. I talked to you about another video on that. Got my spade, right? I didn't get the customary shovel. I got the flat end spade. Works better for me. I like them a whole lot better. All right, so let's go to uh, my box here. I got some more things in my box that I want you to see. A lot of uh, the different screws and stuff on your dashboard. And in these dump trucks have star head uh, screws in them. Some of them have hexagon screws. So you see I got this multiple different um, uh, micro precision bit set. It has different endings with the screwdriver uh, that helps you to be able to fit different type endings, right? Like I said, in your dump truck, the screws in that dashboard, most of the time they be star head. Then you go discover other screws in the truck is going to be hexagon, right? And I just bought this because it fits multiple endings. All right. Uh, see what else I got in here. Just multiple uh, sizes, flathead and uh, Phillips screwdrivers. All right, that's uh, self-explanatory. You know you got to have screwdrivers and stuff, dump truck. All right, tire straps. You never know, something comes loose, and you're going to need to tie something, right? Here they are. Got me some tire straps. All right, black tape. All right, doggone wires come loose. Um, uh, where you have to uh, uh, fix your lights or something like that, or in your dashboard or up under your hood. Wires come loose, you need some good black tape or gray tape either one you choose will work out fine for you all right i like to have a little um heavy duty let me see what else i got in my box what else i got here uh bungee cards right same as those other kind of bungee cards they got a little different size here all right because the other truck is going to need some bungee cards to pull uh its tarp down when i get it done all right y'all gonna live it live a little mall hammer nothing Nothing spectacular. I know I'm going to get one a little bit bigger, but this is all they had. So I went with this. You never know when you might. Just need a little hammer to hit something, right? Dealing with the dump truck. Always to have it and not need it, need it, not have it. I always like to keep me some shop tiles. All right. See what else we got in my box. All right. I told y'all. A doggone flat kit, right? Told you about that on the previous video. There it is. All right, you need your tire repair kit. This is a heavy duty one. You never know when that can get you out of a bind. All right, look, if this video is being valuable to you right now, hit that like, hit the subscribe button, share this video with family and friends, let them know Country CEO bringing that game to y'all, right? Another thing of shop tiles. All right, how about this? Fuse this, y'all. Never know when a good old fuse is going to blow on you and you in Timbuktu. And you trying to find fuses at old mom and pop store and they don't sell these kind. All right, so got a fuses that we keep in the truck. All right, what else I got? Oh, sweet broom. I don't know about y'all, but I can't stand a dirty truck. I, I'm constantly sweeping, so got to have that. All right, what else I got in here? Two-way tape so I can fix my air hole stuff. Not two-way tape, but uh, a little little tape that you use when you're tightening fittings and stuff all right how about this guys needle nose pliers <laughs> needle nose plier got to have it man when i you know you need to splice the line and uh all that good stuff and, and get it like you need to get it there you go you got what you need to be able to do that all right so i think that's about it only last thing i have to show you is going to be the toolbox just a simple little toolbox from my local hardware store. Nothing fancy. $16. No standard toolbox. And uh, to put my tools in. Alright, and so all I'm going to do, stick these tools in the truck. And uh, we good to go. Alright, driver got something to work with. Something happens. Minor stuff he can take with. Oh, I forgot to show y'all. That's, that's just aluminum bright. Got to have some aluminum bright. In a truck or no aluminum bright keeps that thing shining and looking good. Okay? All right, so as usual, I like to show y'all guys what I done spent because this helps you to understand sometimes you got to spend a little money in this dump truck business, right? My first store where I got most of this stuff, all right, $269.48. All right, that's the first store. That's where I got the majority of everything from. All right, then I went to AutoZone, got the tube. I got a few more things that the other store didn't have. All right, is that the right one? No, that's not the right one. 
<laughs> I spent another sixty dollars at at AutoZone though. Take my word for it. So spent about three hundred and twenty, three hundred and thirty dollars on essential, what I like to call essential tools that'll help you to make it through on some bad days. Cause you're gonna have some days stuff ain't gonna be acting right and all this kind of stuff, and you want to be able to function like you need to function. All right. So look, man, that's my spiel. This video is good. It's value. It's game. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Let somebody know. Country CEO then dropped another one. I'm out of here, y'all. No grind. No shine. We gone.